welcome to another episode of The American Dream. I'm Jackie Asplund with Compass, and today I'm in Pasadena. For those of you familiar with the city, you'll know I'm in the heart of Old Town. But what you may not know is that this place dates back to the 19th century and was the original commercial center of the city. By the 1940s, the area had become increasingly run down and undesirable. Fortunately, in the late 1980s, Old Town underwent a period of urban renewal and regeneration and has since been revived as one of Southern California's most popular shopping and entertainment destinations. So one of the things I love about Old Town is the variety of places to eat. And today we're at my favorite restaurant, Sage Vegan Bistro. We're here today with Molly Engelhart, the owner of Sage Vegan Bistro. Thank you for having us today. Thank you for coming in. So let's start by telling us a little bit about Sage, the concept of, of the restaurant and why it's so unique. Well, we are an organic plant-based restaurant, so that means no meat or no dairy. But our mission statement is really food with nothing missing. So we're comfort food. We have a full bar. We have 36 taps of beer. We have our own brewery. but it also is vegan and so if you want a fried macaroni and cheese ball we have that and if you want a kale and quinoa salad we have that we really want to cater to a wide array of people and 80 percent of our guests aren't vegan or vegetarian they just like the food and the other thing we really focus on is hyper local food so we have our own farm where we grow a big percentage of the produce and then we also have three or four local farmers that are all within 50 miles wow. that are growing everything from our wheat to our produce um, and so it's very very local so we need a pizza here the wheat is just grown um, near Coachella Valley if you eat um, heirloom tomatoes here they were just grown here in Fillmore everything's very very local If you were to just take a piece of chicken and put it in the oven and put no seasoning on it, it doesn't really taste like anything either. And so people have a concept that vegan food is not delicious, but it's really like about making anything delicious. I always say that all food is just a vehicle for sauce to get into my mouth. Yeah, like, exactly. I like the sauces. Yeah. And so as a chef, I've always thought to really, you want to push the limits of how much seasoning can you put where it's not too much. Right, right. And some people will be like, your food is way over seasoned. And I'm like, there's so much bland vegan food out there. Go enjoy it. But yeah. yes, I'm really into seasoning. Yeah. And so we just really try to take it to the edge of what is a, like, so it's an explosion in your mouth, not just like, oh, that wasn't That's very okay. memorable. Yeah, exactly. That's what I noticed. That's why I, I love the restaurant so much. It's so flavorful. Everything's so good. Here's a few of our fan favorites. This is our breakfast favorite. This is the chili aquiles. We have lots of Mexican food on our menu. My husband and the co-executive chef is from Oaxaca, so we definitely um, have a big Mexican influence on our menu. And the chili aquiles is our most popular breakfast menu, and we have breakfast every day here. Yeah. And then this is the miso rainbow bowl. So this is on the more healthy side of things. And this is our number one most popular dish. Um, this is our buffalo cauliflower wings with our homemade ranch and celery sticks and carrots. Yeah, this is my favorite. Pasadena is like such a beautiful place to live and it has so much uh, to offer with all these little courtyards and yes. so much to discover. Yeah. So um, thank you for bringing new community members into Pasadena. Well, you're welcome. And thank you for joining us on another episode of The American Dream. And if you're ever in Old Town, be sure to stop by Sage. It's definitely worth it. Thank you. Thank you.